All right, let's talk about the five number summary. And I also want to use this as uh, a pretext to talk a little bit about the quartiles, but we'll get to that. So a five number summary uh, the five is basically just a way to describe a data set, uh, summarize it with uh, five key pieces of information. And those five key pieces of information are the min, Q1, the median, also known as Q2, Q3, and the maximum. So these are the five numbers we want for a five number summary. So I've taken this question out of the textbook. Uh, it's question 2.44 in chapter, excuse me, chapter two. Uh, I chose an even question, so this way I we can see the answer, go through it together. Um, so the first thing you want to do is we want to uh, sort this data uh, from smallest to largest. So uh, we'll just do that now. Uh, smallest is 0, then 1, then 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, there's a 10. 12, 12, 13, 14, 16, 19, 19. So uh, here it is in order. So let's start filling this out. Minimum is the lowest value, right? And we can see the lowest number in this data set is zero. Uh, the maximum is the highest. We can see the maximum is 19. So uh, let's talk about the quartiles. And I want to talk about this in uh, two, two sections. So one of the big problems that a lot of students will have with quartiles is they actually confuse the position part for the answer. Uh, so it takes it's actually a two-step process. So a lot of people are probably familiar with Q for Q1, the formula 0 0.25 times n plus 1. So uh, what's important is this isn't Q1. This is actually the position for Q1, which I'm going to call A. So A is equal to 0.25 times n plus 1, which in this case there are 15. So that is 0 0.25 times 15 plus 1, which is the same as 0.25 times 16, which is 4. So the first quartile isn't 4. What this tells us is the position of the first quartile is the fourth position. So Q1 is actually equal to the eighth x, where a is 0 0.25 times n minus 1, 10 plus 1. In this case, that would be x4. So the fourth x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Our first quartile is 6. And similarly, for the median, uh, right? Again, we have to first find the position, m, because the median is equal to xm, and m is equal to 0 0.5 times n plus 1, which we know is 16. 0 0.5 times 16 is 8. So xm is the medium, median, which is the 8th x, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. And uh, for Q3, we have to find xb, the bth x, and our b is 0 0.75 times n plus 1, which is 0.75 times 16, which is 12. So Q3 equals X12, which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. All right? Now, what you what you're fundamentally doing is first we're finding this position, which we call A, M, and B, depending on the bit we're finding. For the first quartile, the position is 25% of the way there. The median is halfway, 50% of the way there. 
Q3 is 75% of the way there. But just remember, all this tells us is the position, and we have to count out the position, uh, the positions to find what number is in that slot and gets it. Now, uh, some ways people might have seen, and I know students will sometimes do, for Q1 is they'll find the median and that that half point, and then on the lower half of data, take the median of that, and that will be Q1. Now, that isn't super precise. It is effective. It, it, can, it can get you an answer, and it's, a, it's used in a lot of ways. But for this course, we're going to use a more precise definition that is going to require interpolation. Now, because of the uh, sample size here, um, or the, pardon me, the, yeah, the sample size, uh, all the numbers came out, the positions all came out even. So we're to demonstrate interpolation, I am going to do that by uh, eliminating one of the data bits. I'm going to get rid of this 19 so uh, and do the data set and do the five number summary for uh, these uh, 14 items instead of 15. So uh, the minimum is still zero. All right, it's still the smallest number. 19 is still the largest number. Now we'll start by doing the median. And remember, the median is equal to xm, where m is equal to 0 0.5 times n plus 1. Now, this used to be 15 plus 1 is 16. This is now 14 plus 1, which is equal to uh, 0 0.5 times 15, which is equal to 7.5. So again, the median isn't 7.5, it's telling us that the median is taking the 7.5th position, right? So the median is equal to 7.5. So uh, there is no 7.5th position, right? These are all whole numbers. So what that means is the median occurs halfway between position 7 and position 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, between 9 and 10. So we take the average of 9 and 10, so x7 is 9, x10, or pardon me, x8 is 10. We take the average, 19 divided by 2 is 9.5. So our medians dropped a little bit because we got rid of one value, but 9.5. Now, uh, this is where we're going to demonstrate interpolation. So uh, for Q1, right, when I can see my cursor again, uh, Q1, we know that relies on, that's XA, and A is equal to the exact same, 0 0.25 times N plus 1, which is equal to 0 0.25 times 15, and 0 0.25 times 15 is 3.75. Now, this is where the median of the lower half method fails because it explicitly will always assume that it's halfway between points. But this isn't halfway between 3 and 4. This is 75% of the way. It's 0.75 of the distance between 3 and 4. So you will often get, when calculating a quartile, uh, a number that ends in, sometimes you'll be lucky like these ones and ends in zero. It's an easy count. You just choose that number. Sometimes you get a 0.25, sometimes you get 0.5, and sometimes you take 0.75, uh, get 7.75. So let's talk about how we figure out that position. So if we have everything, you know, it'll be of the form X point Y, Y, right? This is one digit, two digits. And so to figure that out, we take X to the X position, uh, and then we plus 0 0.yy times x, x plus 1, 1 higher, minus x, x. See there. So in the case of this quartile, we're talking about, where is my cursor? So x 3.75 is equal to x3, right, that, that base part, that first digit, plus 0 0.75, those, the remainder, the 75, you know, we're 75% of the distance, and that'll be between x4 and x3. 
three, right? One, because it's path, three quarters of the way between three and four. This is an algebraic way of figuring that out. So x3 in this case, one, two, three, is five plus 0 0.75 times uh, x4 is six minus five, remember, one, two, three, four. So we have five plus 0.75 times one, which is 5.75. So our first quartile is 5.75. So interpolation is just about making sure we get more precise because it's not halfway between three and four. It's not three in the, the halfway point. It's 75% of the way there to accurately get the 25th percentile, which is what the Q1 is. This is how we calculate it. So let's see the same thing for Q3, right? Let's go through that again. Remember that's XB where the B position is 0 0.75 times N plus one, which is in this case, 15 and 0.75 times 15 is 11.25. And we do the exact same thing here. So our Q3 is X 11.25 which is the same as x11 plus the trailing part here, 0 0.25 times x12 minus x11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's equal to x11 is 13 plus 0 0.25 times the distance and x12 is 14 minus 13, which is equal to 13 plus 0 0.25 times one, 14 minus 13 is one. So we have 13.25, where is there? So dropping off that last number didn't change our results that much, uh, but it did change them. So this is the method we are expected to use to find quartiles, Q1 and Q3, in uh, this class. You can't just take the median and then find the median of the upper half and the lower half for your quartiles. You want to be able to get more precise, so you have to use interpolation. And interpolation would even work on the uh, median. For example, here, right, we see that this is telling us the median is x 7.5. And that's exactly the same as just like we see here with this algebra, x7 plus 0 0.5, take that trailing decimal place, times x8 minus x7. And we know x7 is equal to 9. We plus 0 0.5 times the distance between uh, x10, x8, uh, which is 10, minus x7, which is 9, and that's the same as 9, sorry about that, plus 0 0.5 times 10 minus 9 is 1, which gives us 9.5. So it's the same answer. You can, you can use this, that's fine. I just wanted to demonstrate that the interpolation method works across the board. So this is how interpolation works for quartiles. Uh, oh, sorry, the question also says not just the five number summary, but the interquartile range, IQR. And IQR is just uh, Q3 minus Q1, the third quartile minus the first quartile. So for the original data set, we can see our third quartile is 14, our first quartile is, is six. So um, when I can see my cursor again, Uh, uh, 18, 14 minus 6 is 8, so the IQR is 8. In the case where I eliminated the last digit, it's 13.25 minus 5.75, which would be 7.5. Uh, so again, just shy of 8. The interquartile range is a little bit tighter. But uh, that's, that's fundamentally how you do that. So uh, if you have any questions about five number summaries or interpolation of quartiles, uh, make sure to ask me uh, in the forums. Uh, take care.